Hello, uh, my name is Nick Spencer and I'd like to tell you a little bit about the study by Keating and Spencer uh, entitled Release of Serotonin or 5-HT from the Mucosa is not required for the generation or propagation of colonic migrating motor complexes. Just like the cardiac pacemaker, the gastrointestinal tract also has a pacemaker and there's been a tremendous amount of attention focused on which cell types are these pacemakers. It's clear that there are multiple cells with uh, electrical excitability. The study by Keating and Spencer focuses on the identification and location of one of the primary pacemakers in the colon. For years this pacemaker has remained elusive. In this study we show that removal of the mucosa and submucous plexus does not prevent pacemaker cell or rhythmicity underlying one of the primary colonic motor events in the uh, mouse. What we show is that removal of the mucosa from submucous plexus um, modifies the frequency at which colonic migrating motor complexes occur but does not block their generation or propagation. Furthermore we show that during each contraction um, underlying each colonic migrating motor complex there is a release of serotonin from enterochromaffin cells. However, this release, as we mentioned, is not necessary for the generation of these um, cyclical phenomena. We show that removal of the mucosa prevents the cyclical release of serotonin from enterochromaffin cells associated with each migrating complex, but again, it doesn't block the underlying rhythmicity. This key experiment identified the location of the pacemaker as to within the myenteric plexus. This was a major step forward. Further in the study we showed that Zofran, the commonly used uh, therapy for the treatment of diarrhea predominant irritable bowel syndrome, was able to reduce or decrease the frequency at which this pacemaker occurred, even despite the absence of the mucosa. This showed to us that the release of serotonin from enterochromaffin cells was not necessary for the action of Zofran or Indensitron to slow the intrinsic colonic pacemaker. So this gives us enormous window and therapeutic uh, insight into whereabouts the, uh, the drug might be acting in future and where we should target key therapeutic agents.